One by one, I'll hand over them to you, and then you can kill them, or whatever you do, it's up to you. So Kansa, he, got, he, he said, okay, uh, I believe your words, because Vasudev was known that he speak, he's a truthful person, and he always keep his words. Now, we know how he killed all the six children which, uh, which were given birth by Devaki and the seventh book was a miscarriage and in the eighth we know how Krishna went to Gokul and in exchange of him a uh, girl born to Ishoda was brought here uh, uh, in the prison of Kansa and when Kansa he tried to kill that girl she smited in the, flew in the air and then she said that oh Kansa and she took the form of Durga Devi which was the worshipable deity of uh, Kansa and she said, what will you kill? How will you kill me? It's not possible for you. But the one who's going to kill you has taken birth somewhere else in Raja. Or she didn't name, she said somewhere he has taken birth. So Kansa then what he did, he called Putna and he said that you should go and you kill all the baby children who's taken birth in last 10 days. So she was that cruel and she went on for that job. And after that also he sent so many demands, Agasur, Bakasur, Tinnavra, Chakrasur, you know, all that, Parlamasur. And when all his attempts failed and he could not kill Krishna, then he made a plan with Akur. He sent Akur to get Krishna and Baladev here. So that here, when he is in his area, in Kansa's area, then Kansa can kill him easily. So then he made a very nice assembly here uh, and he made an arrangement for a wrestling match and he called all his big uh, uh, demon-like uh, powerful persons or his uh, followers Charun Mustik and etc and as soon as they will come they will uh, Krishna Balde will come they will make a joint effort and they will kill them so we know how they came here and one after another Krishna and Balde they defeated all them all of them and killed them and when Kansa he was he was curated, he was really, uh, uh, when he saw this, that he was unable to kill Krishna then also, then he was very frustrated. And he was saying that now what to do. And when he was thinking like that, Krishna, he jumped on the uh, throne where Kansa was sitting and he pulled him from his shikha and brought him down. And then just with one fist, he killed him and he jumped on his chest and then he pressed his neck and he was finished. So then he went in the prison and he rescued Devaki and Vasudev. But when Devaki and Vasudev they came out, they were not sure that Kansa is killed and they were still afraid and they were thinking, oh, if Kansa gets up any moment now, he will kill every one of each one of us. So Krishna said, and Krishna and Baldev said, no, you don't worry, he is fully, he's, he's, there's no life, he's completely killed. So just to make sure what he did, they dragged him from here to Dhruvgarh, the place where he went where he was given his uh, uh, cremation ceremony. So the, play, the pathway which they followed, uh, these days there is a drain here. It was created from dragging Fransa. So that drain is named as Kans Khaag. It's a big drain. It's the all dirty water of Matra comes in this way. <laughs> so that's how they uh, assured everyone that Kansa is killed. And so that was the pastime of this place. Trangeshwar Mahadev Mahadevaki!